This is a 2015 Porsche Cayenne S. This is my car and it produces 420 PS of horsepower. It also goes from 0 to 100 in less than 5.5 seconds, which is absolutely mind-blowing. But this car is special for two reasons, because first, it's my first Porsche, hopefully and definitely not my last Porsche, and second, because this is a sleeper car. So on the inside, while it produces 420 horsepower, on the outside, it looks like the base variant of a Porsche Cayenne. So if you really want speed and comfort, this is the only sports car that's available in an SUV format. Okay guys, my name is Bharat Nagpal and I'm sitting here with the infamous Rajiv Makhni. Uh, we're doing this special show called The Ride. You know Bharat, I have to say the most interesting thing is that when you and I spoke about this show, I think it's the perfect thing, the amalgamation of television and online coming together. And I think it was, it was time because this show is very different from yeah. anything else anyone so guys anything you've seen before forget about it this is absolutely and totally going to blow your socks off but Bharat, tell me we've spoken a lot about the show but but when when you were thinking about the show what 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 is in your mind so the idea is that it's all about perspective rajiv and these guys need to know the perspective so what's happening is that i have an opinion and you have an opinion and even though some of our opinions are quite similar we have our different take on mostly everything. So I think what the viewers need to get is like the best of both worlds, the best of the television gadget guru and the best of somebody who's online like I can. <laughs> okay, correct. So the other cool part, of course, is I think that the name of the show is absolutely perfect because you and I actually have pretty awesome rides. We do and uh, we're going to be getting new rides and we're going to make this show really incredible because it's all about the ride, isn't it? Absolutely. No, actually, yeah. It's all about the right, but there is a whole lot more, right? I mean, this is not, we're going to talk tech for sure. Yeah. We're going to do gadgets, so cars, what else? So what we need to do is get the best people, the best celebrities, get them here, get them going for a candid discussion and just talk to them about everything. But remember, we're getting really awesome celebrities, but one thing that you and I did decide is that they've got to be super interesting people, no yeah. boring celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, nothing on earth hurts more <laughs> than a well-known face that that's, talks that's boring. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it is by far the worst experience of your life. Of course. Right? Of course. So, so we promise all you guys, it's going to be great celebs who really are super interesting. People. So let's do a quick roundup. Great cars, great tech, great other stuff, like whatever else we can think of. And of course, celebrities. So guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And hit that like button already because this show is already pretty interesting. We've got Rajiv here, Bharat Nagpal, and we're going to get started. Somebody's got to do it. So I say, these players, they try, but they ain't me. When I'm down here, they want me on TV. Damn, I started this eight years ago, but I still got them stacks in the flow. With my man in this ride now. Y'all know him as the OG G now. Aim bluffing, riding roughing. Rari in the shop, candy apple bluffing. It's the ride, it's the ride now. It's the ride, the only ride now. It's the ride, it's the ride, it's the ride now. Fuck this ride now. So let's get the tech part done first, Bharat, because uh, I think the first one that I really want to talk about, because I think it's a design flaw that has now become a feature. I already know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think everybody in the world knows what I'm talking about. So, but let, let's put this out there, because I think this is the show where I think the most important thing we're doing is that we're talking here, but it's also a lot about all of you out there, because yeah. we'd like this to be as interactive as possible. So the design flaw I'm talking about, of course, is what we believe is the iPhone 10 screen, right? The notch on top at any other given time would have been actually called a design feature that went wrong. Yep. Right? Yep. But because Apple did it, yep. every company in the world now wants to do it. You know, the beauty of it is that some companies don't even need to do it. They have a forehead, like a upper part above the screen, despite the notch, which they could have easily utilized for these electronics, but they forced the notch on the displays. It's just ridiculous. 
and none of them have even gone ahead and made any changes like for yeah. instance i thought that there would be a company that would say okay listen we don't want to do a notch we maybe we'll do a triangle <laughs> maybe we'll do slightly something round it off a little yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. make it look dramatically different so that is not called copycats but i mean at last count six phones yeah. by the time this year is over it will be easier to count phones that don't have a notch yes. screen agreed then but i i'm still wondering is this the way to go I mean the problem I think is we discussed this on your show as well Rajiv is the problem is I think the restriction of technology they want to put so much on the top now because of the front facing cameras because of now face IDs because of facial recognition technologies front facing flashes and louder earphones and sometimes even stereo speakers that just if they want to expand the display to the top they need that notch uh, because transparent technology doesn't exist right now So so I'll tell you what let's get our first interaction out there so to everybody who's actually watching this and yeah. thinks that this is an interesting place where we are some of you love it some of you don't it's selling like hotcakes so a lot of people must be loving must it must be loving it but uh, what's the right way to go uh, some companies like Xiaomi took the camera and put it at the bottom yeah. that was severely criticized yep right some people because you know selfie like it makes you look fatter <laughs> i mean you're getting your chin and everything in the place you know they did say I mean come on you don't first you take Swim your phone the camera at the bottom then you turn it around then you wait like 90% of the time when you need to click a picture it's like in the moment you don't like that's why people didn't like it i think the only problem was that it the whole fact that you have to first turn your phone around it's an added step okay so so let's put it out there so you're basically saying but but before we put it out there let's take a quick little dipstick between you and i yeah not screen phones thumbs I, up or thumbs down for now thumbs up because the technology doesn't exist so it's the best you can get So I'd rather say thumbs down. I'd rather have a little bit more of a bezel or a border yeah. than the because remember one thing, iOS also has that problem. All most apps have that problem. Android has that problem. That that notch is comes not yet recognized. Yeah, it comes. So it's way. a major problem. There are times when there's something right there yeah. that you may need to even click on, yeah. and it's not available. So I'd say, at the moment for me, it's a thumbs down. But all of you out there, leave your you comments. Tell us, okay? Leave your comments in the comment section below and tell us do you like the notch. Do you not like the notch? Also, one more thing. Mm. Now we have an option to turn off notches in some phones. Okay, so yeah, you get the whole black border on yeah, top, right? Yeah, and then the then the apps don't fill up the screen to the right. Top. So, so which again defeats the purpose of, of the notch, wanted, yeah. right? But speaking of notches, yeah. okay, the Huawei P20 and P20 Pro. But my first question to you is, Huawei was in India, yeah, went away, yeah, making a comeback again. Yes, uh, is one of the biggest global players now. all across. Yes. Some people call it number 2 in value and in terms of number of phones sold. Yeah. But it's an unknown entity here in India. Of Everybody course, yeah. Most of them as honor yeah. and nothing more. Uh good idea coming back to the country? I think the issue here is more what the phone with the phone that they are bringing in, it's a flagship phone and that market is more or less either Apple or Samsung. Mm -hmm. And to penetrate that market at an expensive price value, I think that the phone will be at is uh, something that they might have a little bit of an issue with but don't you think i think that's the part that i find the smartest because if you're getting a halo effect around your brand yeah everything else you will do remember they've got the Porsche style right uh, they've got a, a, a one of the best looking smart watches is again the yeah. very smart watch so this may well be i think a great strategy i think a very gutsy strategy come in We don't really care too much about how many phones we sell in the first six months. Yeah. We come in with that aura, saying, "Listen, we're the best. We're super premium. We're not honor. We're distinctively different from that brand, yeah. and we're more premium." I think it's a great ploy. I think it's a great one, which may some be something that they can pull off. Yeah, I think it'll be a good uh, way to break uh, the market at least. Come back, and uh, also that twilight color. I think a <laughs> lot of people just want that phone because yeah. of the twilight color. You have three cameras. You've got a lot going on. You have the notch. <laughs> you have the notch. You have three cameras. One of them is a 40 megapixel. Mm -hmm. uh, you and me have both tried it out, yeah. and we have to say, optically, this may be one of the most superior phones in the world right now. It yeah. really is out there. It's got Leica lenses, yeah. which which makes it special. <laughs> It's to oh, a lot of people. One other thing that I really like is that. Uh, low light photography came yeah. out fantastically well so it's 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 a very well put together phone great to look at great premium feel but let's break it down now into the one thing you think is the best thing about the phone and i'll give you one it has to be just one uh i'll have to say the look and feel i think it looks extremely good 
Okay. And so it's a good competition to something like an S9. So I actually agree with you on that. I thought you would go with what typically most people would say would be the camera, you and me. Yeah. Let's but I go. wanted to be different. Yeah, yeah, let, I'm let, not, I'm let's, not, not let's not make this a habit of agreeing with each other. <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, in the future, we will not agree. But right now, I agree. I think it's the premium look and feel that makes this phone dramatically different yeah. from anything else. Yeah. The camera is fantastic. That's the add-on bonus. But if you restrict us to one, I think it will be that. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Okay, listen. I think it's time to tell everybody out there, including Bharat. Uh, <laughs> we, we've spoken about the car. We've spoken about tech. Mm. Remember the celebrity is still to be revealed. Yeah. So who, who are we picking up? to Bharat. Even who, he doesn't who? know. I just keep. I, I just keep telling him. Yeah, the left. Yeah, the right. Yeah, the. He's navigator. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Google mapping it, and celebrity mapping it together. Oh, by the way, Google Maps does not work <laughs> in certain locations, <laughs> especially where we are going. Right? Especially okay. where we are going. So I'll tell everybody this. Let's see. Let's see how many people can guess this as we are going along. I've worked out with her. I've known her for years. Okay may well be one of the fittest people in the country right now okay, okay. and but it still is completely fit. i'm this is like this defines like 80 million people in our country <laughs> fittest person in the country okay ulta, like ulta. Ulta. Okay, what are the unfittest people in the country ah, okay. would understand <laughs> okay so like at least a hundred people yeah yeah so, so at least a, so that at least a lot of people oh, okay i'll nice. tell you i'll give you i'll give you one pretty simple hint and then no more even if you get it Okay, hold that expression. Do not reveal. Okay. Okay. She's going to hate me for it, but the but the hint is noodle. Noodle. That's all. That's mm. all I'm saying. As we're on our way, uh, I have to tell all of you that Bharat and I have had this little challenge between us that on every <laughs> episode of the show, we will look back and say who had a more interesting week or fortnight oh. or whatever. <laughs> that looking back. I was looking back. I shouldn't be looking back while driving, should I? <laughs> Why are you driving? Okay. So who had a more interesting week? So It I'm, was mine. Uh, no, no, it's obviously it's mine. mine. It's Come mine. It's mine. It's easy. Rajiv, okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll give you the first Okay, you shot start. Yeah. No, no, I'll you no. Or, okay. Pehle aap, Rajiv. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Rajiv. Rajiv ji. Rajiv, as most people know me Rajiv. as. In, in any North Indian area, I'm always rigid. Okay, okay, before we proceed, I have to tell you, guys, when you meet Rajiv, please don't rub his back. It's it's not cool. <laughs> I've seen people do this. No yeah, back rubbing. That, that gentle, slow, seductive <laughs> circles taken on my back are banned. I've had enough of it. I have proof on my back. I have the, scar, oh. I have the scars to prove it. <laughs> the rub scars. <laughs> okay, so... My week was that I actually won an award oh. for the most fittest and fabulous male. Wow. And so I really are we going to pick you up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I worked out with myself. I've known myself for years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that and, makes you. And, and, and you're and, one of the and, fittest people in the world. And, in, the, in the country, you've already got a award and, and for And I'm it. a she and, <laughs> oh, and noodle. Oh, she. Oh, noodle. <laughs> Raji. Noodle. <laughs> this yes, is getting interesting. Whatever else I may say. Did you say you're a not she? Not noodle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, not me. There are okay. there are other people that we will be talking to in the show. So I won that. Okay. okay. Now now beat that. Well, I I've got two things to beat that with. Not just one. Because my week I did two things. Okay. So first I went. I was in Paris already. Okay. So that that I mean I'm not even including that. That's not part of the two Three things. Three things. Okay. So I was in Paris. So I went to Disneyland Paris, and they have this awesome awesome new Star Wars ride. Where it's in complete darkness and it's a roller coaster that goes on for five minutes and they st simulate flying around in space and doing that battle that goes on in Star Wars. So you're one of the fighters in that fighter plane and you're basically fighting with lasers with the big ships and the smaller ships. It's crazy. It was the most intense ride that any tech loving Star Wars loving person can ever take. And if you're not a Star Wars loving person, Rajiv, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, I, I completely and absolutely <laughs> love Star Wars, but. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. Look at the imbalance. Of I mean, it. okay, you ek, got fitness. Ek Paris ah. mein gaye. Phir Disneyland ki Paris ticket mein gaye. Phir, ticket khareedi. Phir, phir ja ke ek ride li versus ek ride ne. I took for fittest and Okay, fabulous. fine. So, let let the guys decide. Okay, guys, Star Wars versus lame award. Uh, Come on, tell me. I have to say it again. Be nice <laughs> to him. Some of you, please vote for him. He's not going to feel good. Otherwise. Some of okay. you. Team Aigan. <laughs> Hashtag. <Achha. laughs> of course, okay. benefits. No, I, I think then we both had a pretty yeah. fabulous week. Okay. I, I think we... Not, I, not I, bad at all. I'd okay. say we did okay, but guys, you decide. 
Star Wars ride, uh, the whole Disneyland thing versus spending versus getting an versus awesome spending award. Spending an evening with 30 other very fit and fabulous women. Oh, women. Anybody All of them were women. <laughs> you didn't mention this earlier. <laughs> I said, "Pure ki puri story mein kyun batao? Aaj oh, aisa karenge." So like so now, 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 this the is the show stopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Fit and fabulous women. Okay. Yeah, okay, I, maybe I'll have to give it to him <laughs> myself. But you guys can decide. Let us know in the comments below and uh, we'll 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 reveal who won in the next episode. Absolutely. While we're almost near her house right, anyway. Okay. <laughs> The real house, not the other two that we not the looking for. <laughs> okay. Okay, time for the big reveal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. So I, I'm, person, I'm super curious. Yeah, absolutely. The person uh, that I've spent a lot of time with, I know her for years, one of the fittest people in the country, Noodle. <laughs> I'm saying Noodle now, don't you dare mention it when she's in the I think you won't be able to control yourself the amount of times you've said noodle on this show. We should call it the noodle show. <laughs> okay. I think it's pretty obvious. I think a lot of you must have already got it. Mandira baby. Oh, that's She's awesome. Actually here and um, I think it's just around the corner. Oh, perfect. So let's quickly pick her up. So with some magic now we have Mandira Bedi in the car <laughs> and uh, <Woo> yes. <laughs> so this is first and foremost marathon or marathons, right? Mm -hmm. So I know you did something right now which is with your son yes. and you discovered something awesome about it him. It was delightful actually. Um, there's something called the Durathon, it's a family marathon okay. and uh, families come out on a Sunday morning and run together. Well, it can't be the entire family because um, often the mother or the father or some person is not um, I mean, rarely were there entire families running, but there'd be father and son, mother and son, mother and daughter, okay. those kind of combinations. And that was the idea. That Is it competitive? Family, fa yes. So, so you and your son both must finish with better timings. Is that how you win? <laughs> no, I mean, how, how, how do families compete? Is what I want to well, know. Well, you, 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 because you run together, you don't hear the father doesn't take off and leave his son behind. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. Raji be wouldn't be able to do that. I would have taken off. <laughs> Like, listen, I have to get I'm very competitive, okay? So I have I have a a very young son, but I in my mind I was just thinking I'm flashing really fast and hoping he gets a good time somewhere at the back. Right. You probably would have done that. We talked a lot about fitness you and me. But yeah, we with with me and me, I'm, I, I, I I'm not in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I'm out of this off. <laughs> Today I was a little concerned because in between I took him jogging. I said, come on, oh, Veer, sir, let's, let's practice with the Delhi Durathon. Okay. Now we've got a Durathon coming up and we know he can run. He stopped running in 400 meters. Oh, the, oh, last the time. practice part. The, the practice part. part. Maybe he's like, he's, he's, he gets he's like all about the race day. Yeah, he's yeah. like, he's a race day man. So we ran great. without stopping. It was very nice. And he had a, and we both got medals and we took wow. pictures, biting nice. medals and stuff. So, <laughs> nice. Yeah. He nice. says, Mom, where can I bite my medal? When can I bite my medal? Let's take some pictures. You gave out an honor to all us men by calling us cowards. So is that, is that? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Did I say all men are cowards? You said but, all Indian men are cowards. Okay, at least you specified it's just <laughs> us. <laughs> well, what I meant to say is a lot of Indian men are cowards. I beg your pardon. You, that, it, it, you can't point, do backseas when you're sitting with men. You can't do it. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. At that point, it was pretty heated up and there was yeah. this idiot standing in front of me who first denied everything and then then he just, the, the, the directions he took off in, it's surprising I didn't slap him, but it's not yeah, my, it's not my nature. Yeah, a lot of media said that yeah. why did you not? Why did I not? I know, but it's not my nature. You know what, at the end of it, can I tell you, I was a little concerned for him. Oh. Because, I know I was. Because he got yeah. shamed in front of 25 women on national television. He has a family and I just, you know, in all of this, Yes, what he did was absolutely wrong, but I don't want anybody to harm themselves. That's why I, oh, I came from that point. point. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 no, you don't know, he's a bit of a crazy guy. He looked perfectly decent. He looked like somebody I would work with, like, you know, like from a production house. He works in a VFX company. Oh. He has a perfectly good job. He's got this alternate account to take his frustrations out. <laughs> no, seriously. So but I said, know, that's why I said, are you, what, what kind of a coward are you? Look me in the eye and say all the things you wrote. Which of course he couldn't do. My question is that you've seen like this whole change from the offline trolling to the online trolling and like it, it, it exists. 
it used to exist back then it was just more subtle and it wouldn't probably reach you as quickly was there i mean actually that's a good question did you ever get offline trolled have you had people when when the world of social media well, here's the thing exist? you know when cricket happened uh, i got a lot of lot of very very mean statements said about me that be newspaper articles yeah. about how i was an airhead i was a bimbo i was brainless i was just there um adding no value i was there to look you know pretty on a no, banner but they said some good things no. about you they said you have great assets and stuff like that that part <laughs> Come was something on. i know you were spoken about listen <laughs> for a woman to to read that shit about her yeah, that, and nobody and nobody uh, puts a name to those there those are big generic articles where yeah. they trash you but don't uh, so that's trolling in a sense yeah. it it's not it's not on a um i mean these people giving you opinions these are their opinions and they must express them and um it doesn't matter what it makes a person feel so there was and and may i tell you even while i i was sitting on the panel there were so many people who were so dismissive of me um the ex cricketers who sat on the panel with me you know i'd ask them a question they'd stare me down and then they'd just talk about whatever they wanted to talk about had nothing to do with my question and you know so i i got i i it wasn't easy for me when i did the cricket and no no i'm just saying because uh, it was a male dominated space and fortunately i had a long enough tournament to change a few people's minds of course i still i mean there's still people who think i don't have you know any business being connected to sport but that's I mean you can't please everybody. Yeah. But you know there is also this thing that when you look back you can also say that you completely and absolutely set the trend. Yeah. Today cricket There's, yes and the female yes. especially the commentator yes. the person who presents it yes. you set that standard right? right I think you came through the worst I opened a door all, I'm yeah. very happy I but, did but that. But boy did you open a door it's like a flood gate <laughs> now right? in every which way I I I'm Sometimes shocked. I say sometimes I say good and sometimes I say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was also connected with cricket when the 2007 World Cup happened. Um India was out in the first week. And before leaving for the World Cup, I had shot a Maxim cover. And it was like, you know what? It was I had shot in fewish clothes before. There was not much else to talk about in India because India was out of the tournament. <laughs> so talk about Mandira, put her on the on the cover of one of our, one of like Okay. Yeah, one of the newspapers. So that came out there. And then my mom, she just I don't know how she managed to hide the newspaper from my dad, but she went and picked up all the issues of Maxim from serious? from my house to the golf club. Oh god. Because that's the route my dad takes every day. Oh my god. Seriously. So she contributed well just for that one day and then she realized it was a bad idea. But she contributed to that that particular issue being, being a the sellout. the the sell out of the like of those 3 years last 3 years the I'm high selling I'm, issue but i but i'm very sure of one thing which is the only mum that really picked it up because some of i think the target audience <laughs> of the others <laughs> i'm not thinking moms at yeah but all. yeah she picked it up for entire you know so somewhere in my house I there's a stash of maxims lying <laughs> i don't know where she's in them or burnt them or thrown them i don't know what but they're there somewhere So the first question and it's a simple one I think is what is bigger a bit or a bite <laughs> Um a bit of food is more than <laughs> a bite of food <laughs> Yeah so so should, okay. you know, listen this is all to do with nutrition now. nutrition this nutrition Listen I'm asking this ask, tech You are you <laughs> ask me I'll answer the best way I know how So I'm going to play a sound for you hopefully it plays This is connecting to the internet. <laughs> okay, few, I I'll give that. Centuries ago. <laughs> yes, absolutely. A dial-in, a dial-up. Yes, yeah, I think this is a this is a cool one. Okay. So, uh this this is my uh semi-famous island question. Okay. okay. I may have even done this with you once on some show. Of mine, All right. Okay. So, if you were to be marooned on an island, yes. it had to be only with one person. Okay. It cannot be your husband, cannot be your son. Uh, 
and I and, and let me make sure that you know I know you the other person will go cannot be me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who would it be? Me. <laughs> oh, this is now this is supposed to be quick fire. Now yeah. to think about this very deep. Not my husband, think. not my son. Yeah. Because those would be very obvious. Mm. In fact, I al- usually always say parents also. Okay. So, but but I think I'm saying it. Mm-hmm. Idris Elba. Oh. Oh, alright. <laughs> Okay. Already. Idris Elba. Yeah, she, 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 she's done. Do you know? <laughs> do you know? I send him messages. Idris Elba, I love you. Does he, does he reply? No. Oh, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? <laughs> He's watching this right now. I guarantee you. I Idris, watched him in Luther, and Idris, I fell Idris, in love. Idris, find an island. She'll be there. Yes. <laughs> They're just discussing season four Luther right now. He's stopping that. He's heading to the island. He's heading to the island. Just with me. send her a Google pin. She'll be there. <laughs> and not like the Google pin. Not like the one I sent you. Sorry <laughs> no. about that. Okay. So so. In this era of movies being made on people, yes. the movie was to be made in your life. Yes. Okay. Yes. What genre do you think that movie would be, and who would play you? You're not allowed to play yourself. That's just not the damn thing, right? Okay. okay. So what genre would it be, and who would, who would you want to play you? It would be a romantic comedy tragedy. <laughs> 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 and I okay. choose Halle Berry. <laughs> oh, wow, absolutely positive. So, so I don't want to ask because my follow-up question was that if it's going to be romantic, who would play the romantic lead next to you? We already know, it's Mr. Island. <laughs> Mr. There Island. you go. Is this Elba and Halle uh, Berry? But, but who, who, would who, who? What person would not, not want to watch that I movie? Villain over Rajkumar Rao. Oh, because I just want him to be a part of the movie. Just Can imagine, I just close it and don't close your eyes. You're driving, but just imagine it just happened. And Raj Kumar. Comedy is yeah, right. There you go, comedy <laughs> time. All you need is one scene from this movie to make it a success. Just one. <laughs> and one. It, it could be a 30 second shot. <laughs> it would yeah, be a scene yeah. like this. जहर खा के मर जाऊंगा मैं the shortest movie ever made and the most successful movie ever yes. made we don't to casting crew i oh, just couldn't help myself could you no no i have one question oh. that 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 the world awesome. needs to know okay okay and it, it, the... i've answered quite a few questions yeah, the world, world needs to know no, no, so go the, for it the world needs to know this one thing this one very quintessential question yes um So does your name? Did you suddenly think it's Shashi Tharoor? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the quintessential. The quintessential question is that does your name translate to come to the temple? Uh, it means from the temple, mandira, mandir se. Oh. It means from the temple. He took it literally. Like mandir. Mandir se, mandir se. So Sikhi. you're done with the mandir. You come from the mandir. Ha. Okay. When you're done with the when you're done with the mandir, come to me. Okay. Now, if you are, here's the thing. If you are, however, with a a bit of a cold, and you say mandira, you mean you. It, Also means alcohol. No, but that <laughs> that's <laughs> Madhura. That's what I'm She saying. She said, "I have a bit of a cold." Madhura. 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 I shall catch up with you, you soon. Okay, I'll see you next. Soon, next, right? I, I come back early morning tomorrow. I mean, the night after the event, but next time I'll give you a call. For sure. We'll catch up for sure. Okay. Yes. We'll go and do our start of the trip. Okay. Yes. <laughs> for sure. Bye. Thank you so much. See, Bye. Thank, thank you so you. much. Bye. If you liked our awesome first episode of the ride, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a part of Team Igan. We will see you in the next episode. So I say these players, they try but they ain't me. When I'm down here they want me on TV. Damn I started this 8 years ago but I still got them stacks in the flow. With my man in this ride now. Y'all know him as the OG Gina. Aim bluffing, riding bluffing. Rory in the shop, candy apple bluffing. <laughs>